It's the rumor report. The Breakfast Club. Now, let's discuss some more of this R. Kelly docuseries, Surviving R. Kelly. And let's be very clear, a lot of what's been going on, he still has women that are living in the house that have not been rescued, that are still living with him. Still? Yeah, to this day, there's still women that are of age, and the police are saying there's not much they can do about it. Because they're of age. If you remember, there was even that video where the woman was saying that she wanted to be there. He put her on video, released it. It was all over the place. It went viral, Mm -hmm. even though uh, family members feel like we have to save her, we have to rescue her. Okay, so let's talk about John Legend. He was on the R. Kelly documentary. I don't believe, were there any other artists besides Sparkle who worked with him that were on there denouncing him? Uh, Just those two, I believe. I'm trying to think, anybody else? But here's what John Legend said on on the documentary. R. Kelly has brought so much pain to so many people. And he should be ashamed of himself. And um, I hope there is some justice done to him at some point. Right. And on social media, a lot of people were commending him for uh, speaking out. And he said to everyone telling me how courageous I am for appearing in the dock. It didn't feel risky at all. I believe these women and don't give a F about protecting a serial child rapist. Easy decision. Also, I'm happy to support the work of people like my friends at A Long Walk Home who have been speaking out on behalf of the survivors for a long time. Now, other people spoke out on social media after watching the six-part docuseries. I think at first people watched it and they were like, oh, all right, we knew some of this information. But then as the story progressed, people were like, whoa. I didn't, and you see all of it together in one space. Yeah. And it's very overwhelming. Uh, now, Tank posted on social media, a lot a lot of artists, songwriters, producers, record executives, etc., are very confused as to how to respond to what they've seen and heard. We've all been inspired by this man. We've been witnesses to his musical genius. We've shaped and molded talent we signed after his musical image. And he goes on to say, I no longer have that issue. I wholeheartedly apologize for not coming to this realization sooner. Yeah, I Tank was riding separate... with him for a second. He was on tour he with him. He was on tour with him, yeah. I cannot separate the music from the monster. My three black daughters won't let me. So he said, what hurts even more are the facilitators around him, his team, his record company, the promoters, the radio station. There has to be a line drawn. Now, Meek Mill posted, I'm not feeling R after watching that. It's so much filthy-ish going on in this industry. Nobody will ever really speak on the wild-ish because most of them could have docs like this or even worse done about them. Uh, Neil posted, there is no excuse. Music is important. It really is, but it's not more important than protecting our children. A lot of people weighed in and said what they thought. Uh, Chance the Rapper also, yes, Chance the Rapper was also on the documentary. I forgot about him. And here's, uh, he was taken out of context and had to explain himself. Now, here's what appeared on the documentary. Maybe I didn't care because I didn't value the accuser's stories. Now, here's what the full context of what he had said. Making a song with R. Kelly was a mistake. We're programmed to really be hypersensitive to black male oppression. But black women are exponentially a higher oppressed and violated group of people. Maybe I didn't care because I didn't value the accuser's stories because they were black women. Because like usually that get in trouble for like this on their magnitude of celebrity it's light-skinned women or white women that's like when it's like a, a big story and i think like never really seen any pictures of r kelly's accusers all right, now he posted on social media. The quote was taken out of context, but the truth is, any of us who ever ignored the R. Kelly stories or ever believed he was being set up, attacked by the system as black men often are, were doing so at the detriment of black women and girls. I apologize to all of his survivors for working with him and for taking this long to speak out. Mm. So regardless of the fact of whether or not you used to support him, you used to listen to his music, now is the time for you to realize, not a great idea. Let's move forward from this. Let's... Hashtag mute R. Kelly. Absolutely. All right, I'm Angela Yee, and that's your rumor report. And-